When you hear the word supervolcano, the first thing that springs to mind is probably the Hollywood blockbuster 2012. In this film, the entire world is affected by one of the largest volcanic eruptions ever witnessed. And this is namely so because supervolcanoes are volcanoes that produce eruptions of the highest magnitude, spewing out enormous amounts of magma, ash and gas that can affect the whole planet. And whilst that film had plenty of inaccuracies when it comes to science, there are some things that it did get right. One is that when a supervolcano erupts, it is global. However, one of the things that they got wrong is they chose Yellowstone as the supervolcano. Well, new research is suggesting that another supervolcano located on a different continent in Europe, known as Campre Flegre in Naples, Italy, is close to eruption. And in this episode, we're going to discuss what this supervolcano is, how it was formed, and why we think it's close to an eruption. So sit back and relax, because this one's going to be interesting. I'm your host, Mr. Earth Guy, and you're listening to Earth Sci Show. <music> Campiflegre is a supervolcano near Naples in Italy. It's a huge caldera that covers an area of about 150 square kilometers, and it's been restless for decades. But what makes Campiflegre so dangerous, and what would happen if it erupted? Let's find out. Campiflegre means burning fields in Italian, and it's a fitting name for this volcanic region. Campiflegre is not a single volcano, but a complex system of craters, vents, domes, and lakes that formed over thousands of years. The caldera itself was created 39,000 years ago when a massive eruption emptied the magma chamber below and caused the ground to collapse. This eruption, known as the Companion Ignimbrite, was one of the largest in the history of Europe, and it spread ash and pumice all over a large area. Some scientists even think that this eruption may have contributed to the extinction of Neanderthals and the spread of modern humans in Europe. Campiflegre has erupted many times since then, but most of them were smaller and less explosive. For example, the last eruption occurred in 1538 when a new cone called Monte Nuovo was formed near the coast. This eruption lasted for eight days and produced lava flows, ash clouds and earthquakes. It also changed the shape of the coastline and created a new lake. And you may be thinking, why is Campe Flegre so restless? Well, it's one of the most monitored volcanoes in the world and for good reason. The volcano has been showing signs of unrest since the 1950s when scientists noticed that the ground was rising and falling in cycles. This phenomenon is called Brady Seism, and it is caused by the movement of magma and fluids under the caldera. Brady seism can also affect the water level in wells and lakes and create cracks and fissures in buildings and roads. The most dramatic episode of this phenomena occurred between 1982 and 1984 when the ground rose by almost 2 meters in some places. This caused damage to infrastructure and forced thousands of people to evacuate their homes. Tens of thousands of small earthquakes have occurred during the periods between the 1950s and 80s, and the coastal town of Pozzioli has been lifted by nearly 4 metres, which is roughly the height of a double-decker bus. A recent study by researchers from Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology and the UCL, or University College London, has found that Campi Flegre is edging towards breaking point. The team is using a model which is the first of its kind to try and predict a volcanic eruption. And since 2017, the predictions of the model have been accurate and the volcano is behaving as predicted. The scientists are hoping that they're able to use this data to try and predict when the eruption will occur. This can be done by gathering more data as more earthquakes and volcanic pressures build up. The scientists do stress that an eruption could occur with little or no warning, posing a serious threat to millions of people who live in the area. The team also emphasized that an eruption was not inevitable. It's the same for all volcanoes that have been quiet for generations. Campi Flegre may settle into a new routine of gently rising and subsiding as seen at similar volcanoes around the world. The important point is to be prepared for all outcomes. Which leads us on to the next question. What would happen if Campi Flegre erupted? Well, the answer to this question depends on how big and explosive the eruption would be. Campi Flegre has a history of both mild and violent eruptions, so it's hard to predict what kind of scenario would unfold. However, some possible outcomes are as follows. In the case of a small eruption, this would produce lava flows, ash plumes, gas emissions, and minor earthquakes. 
The impact would be mostly localized to the Caldera area, which is 130 kilometers across, with some ashfall falling on nearby cities. The main hazards would be damage to infrastructure, disruptions to transport and communication networks, health problems from inhaling gas or ash, and evacuation of residents. If it was a moderate eruption, this could produce pyroclastic flows, ash clouds, gas emissions, and strong earthquakes. Pyroclastic flows are dense, destructive masses of very hot ash, lava fragments, and gases ejected from explosive volcanoes. This is when the column of ash and gas above the volcano gathers too much weight and it falls down its flanks, going hundreds of kilometers per hour, and is extremely hot. The effects of a pyroclastic flow can be seen in the city of Pompeii, which was pulverized and left under a blanket of tephra during a pyroclastic ash flow in 79 AD. The main hazards would be destruction of buildings and crops, contamination of water sources, disruption to power supplies and air traffic, health problems from inhaling ash or gas, evacuations of residents, and possible tsunamis if the eruption affects the seafloor. And lastly, if there was a large eruption, this could produce pyroclastic flows, ash clouds, gas emissions, and very strong earthquakes. And the impacts of this eruption would be catastrophic not just for Italy, or even Europe, but the entire world. There is a possibility that this could affect the climate at a global level, triggering minor extinction events in certain animals, as well as changing the way we have to live due to a volcanic winter occurring for the next decade. Some of the main hazards would be widespread devastation of land and life, climate change due to the injection of ash and gas into the atmosphere, disruption to global trade and travel, health problems from inhaling gas and ash, mass evacuations of residents, and the possible global famine due to crop failure. Campi Flegre is a supervolcano that poses a serious risk to millions of people in Italy and beyond. The volcano has been restless for decades and it could erupt at any time with little or no warning. The consequences of an eruption could range from mild to disastrous, depending on the size and explosiveness of the event. Scientists are monitoring Campi Flegre closely, and there are plans to evacuate the population in case of an emergency. However, there is still a lot of uncertainty about the behavior and evolution of this complex volcanic system. Therefore, more research and preparedness are needed to understand and mitigate the potential threat of Campi Flegre. And that's all for today's episode on Earth SciShow. And while this episode spoke around the impacts of a potential eruption, it's important to remember that this thing could go off tomorrow or in a thousand years time. It's not guaranteed that it will occur within our lifetimes. Our best defense against this volcanic monster is to continue to monitor it and make sure we have great evacuation plans at the ready. Thank you so much for listening. Please follow me on this podcast platform and I'll see you in the next episode. You've been listening to Earth Sci Show and I'm your host, Mr. Earth Guy. And remember, stay curious. Stay curious.